Well, the Shape Society is dedicated to the eradication of heart attack. It's an amazing goal. And current therapy actually would get us nearly to that point if we identified the right people for therapy. That's what our imaging of atherosclerosis can do. Hats off to Mort Nagabi for what he's done in terms of building the Shape Society. Today at this meeting, he brought together some of the leading minds from around the world in the field of prevention of heart disease. Prevent in the field of you want to do that again? Yeah. <laughs> You're going good. Yes. So we're just... Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, so I go back to the hats off? No, I think that we okay. can probably okay. splice right. it up here and there. Uh, at this meeting, uh, some of the leading investigators from around the world uh, got together to determine what can we do to make this atherosclerosis imaging that's so powerful become something that's accepted in medical practice and importantly by the people who pay for the diagnostic uh, approaches. And the answer was we need randomized trials and this incredibly smart group of people sat for about eight hours in one day straight talking about a variety of randomized trials that could be undertaken to demonstrate whether this approach of atherosclerosis imaging is effective. We know it's effective, but we've got to prove it. We have to show that evidence, and the randomized trial approach is what's accepted and what needs to be done. Hopefully, we'll be able to find the funding to, be allow, to allow us to do the pivotal randomized trial to prove that atherosclerosis imaging works. And you think that's possible to prove or disprove in uh, a trial of several thousand people? Well, it's an understatement to say that we would prove it. Uh, there's currently a very large randomized trial going on in Europe, very well designed, that should show whether the approach of patients with an intermediate risk of having a heart attack can be appropriately stratified to their treatment based on the results of a calcium scan. It's possible that we may be able to say to certain patients, you don't need any treatment. And in others, we may be able to escalate their treatment beyond what would have happened just on the basis of risk factors alone. This trial is well designed to answer that question. But we need more than one randomized trial in order to be able to convince payers that the calcium scanning is an effective tool for determining therapy in individual patients. Now, you've been meeting with patients and doing this for probably more than a generation, right? I mean, you've been doing this for a long doing time. For a long time. So, do, does that community of patients, do they become evangelists and are they out there singing the praises of? feeling more knowledgeable about their individual risk? I, I think it's a rare patient who becomes an evangelist for, uh, for uh, any kind of testing. Uh, but what I will say is there are many patients who say, you know, that test saved my life. And you don't know how many patients who have come back and who, who I've seen before. And they come back five years later for uh, uh, another test and they say, you know, after you showed me that calcium in my arteries, I really changed. Sometimes they become a complete pescatarian like I am. And some of them will remember that I'm the guy who eats all the egg whites and won't touch anything with animal fat. It's very interesting. Having the calcium scan allow the patient to see the disease in their own arteries, not to be told that they've got a calculated risk of having something, but they actually see the disease in their arteries, how that motivates them to do the right thing.